Attention, all true believers. Marvel Comics is on the air. Out of the pages of the world's greatest comic magazine come the adventures of the Fantastic Four. This week, we'll conclude our first two-week epic adventure featuring the diabolical Doctor Doom. Can America's most colorful super combo escape from the threat of the swirling cement, the panic of the deadly whirlwind, or the peril of the room without a floor? We'll begin to find out when we join Stan and the fabulous foursome climbing into the clutches of Dr. Doom in just half a moment. Last week, aided by the amazing Ant-Man, the Fantastic Four invaded the micro-world of Dr. Doom and triumphed over their arch-foe. Now, back home again, they bid adieu to their ant-sized ally. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Good morning, Good morning. Feel foolish to wave into anything that small. Goodbye. You're okay in our book. It'd be a waste of time to go searching for Doom. He's much too crafty and slick to have left any clues for us. Well, we won't have to wait too long before he makes a move. Right, Johnny. Well, I'm going to wait by calling Alicia. We might as well get back to our personal lives for now. Reed, I believe you have a speaking engagement at an astronomer's convention. And I got a heavy date. A few minutes later, the foursome are leaving their Baxter Building headquarters and heading out on their various appointments. Three, two, it's a good thing we didn't use our personal elevator. That's quite a crowd of fans down there. Yeah, but we got to get out of here somehow. I don't want to be late for that day. If I go out in that mob, I'll get thrown in the slab before it's sighting a riot. Hey, over here. I can take it out in the freight elevator over there. Oh, we're in luck. One of the janitors. You're the Fantastic Four, ain't you? I'd have spotted you anywhere. And Ben thought he was hiding behind them shades. First time I ever been so close to celebrities. Wasn't my face you recognized, Matchstick. Must have been the fire in your eyes. Oh, before you go, could I shake your hand? Oh, sure, old-timer. It's my pleasure, sir. And thank you for helping us. Oh, you've done so much for mankind. Just don't squeeze too hard. <laughs> <laughs> As they leave, none of the colorful quartet notice that the janitor has secretly affixed a tiny tissue-thin plastic disc to each of their hands. It worked like a charm. <laughs> All of my plans do. With those specially treated identical discs on their hands, my followers will be able to track the Fantastic Four wherever they go tonight. Now, I'll return to my hidden laboratory and put phase two of my master plan into effect. Nothing shall stop me from defeating the Fantastic Four this time. A short time later, in Dr. Doom's amazing secret laboratory... Oh, my followers, I release you to do the task for which I created you. Each light of the air robot is tuned to a different identical disc emitting frequency. Now, find your objectives. Of course, each follower does find its objective, and now the Fantastic Four have separately returned to the Baxter Building in Manhattan after several hours of harassment from Dr. Doom's floating robots. Oh, oh, that's good. Good. Oh, now, calm down, everyone. I've got a little gadget here that'll tell us what we need to know about these objects. I've modified this electro detector to zero in on whatever it is that's attracting them to us. There. Reed, it's pointing to your wrist. Big deal. What's that mean? He's got a nice watch. Here, this tiny plastic disc. I'll bet you all have one. Hey, yeah. Look at this. Mine's even got cracks on it, just like my skin. Dr. Doom has to be behind all this. Hey, look. The thing that's been following me is disappearing. When I took that disc off my wrist, the floating jobbies just vanished. They were inanimate with no life of their own. The discs must have given them life when attached to our bodies. Mine's gone, too. Reed, if Dr. Doom is behind this... Then he could be monitoring us right now with one of his machines. All right, he is. And now that I have put them off guard with my follower robots, I shall work with a vengeance to accomplish my ultimate goal, the total destruction of the fated four. While spying on the disgusting thing, I saw the way to defeat the 40 foursome. I shall strike at them through their weakest link, the woman that Ben Grimm loves, the sightless Alicia. How oh, ironic it is that even a gargoyle such as Thing can find love and mingle with normal people, while I dare not even expose my face to the view of others. I alone must hide like a ferret from the sight of my fellow man. I shall 
will soon have my revenge upon the entire human race, starting with the Fantastic Four. Starting now. Suddenly, without warning, with the flick of a switch on Dr. Doom's control panel, a strange grapple array is beamed down to the street where gentle Alicia is walking. And then... What's happening to me? I feel like I'm rising from the street. But how? It's impossible. However, few things are impossible to one who is a master of science and evil. Seconds later, the astonished Alicia has been lifted up into what from Earth would appear to be a cloud floating over the city, but is in reality a floating laboratory for the diabolical Dr. Doom. Just a little further, my dear, and my trap will be set. And then, later that same day... Ben, come here. Look at this newspaper story. Huh? It says here, girl walks on air, stuns crowd... And that picture looks like... It's Alicia. My Alicia. If anything happens to her, I'm going to kill her. Oh, look out, Reed. He's going on a rampage. It's going to be Doom. He's trying to get to me through, Alicia. When I get my hands on easy, him... Easy, easy, easy there, Reed. There go. I'm going to get that place and finish him this time. Ben's got every right to be mad. I'll even help you, partner. But suddenly... A grim vision appears on the great screen of the Fantastic Four's viewing room. Hmm. Your anger will avail you nothing. This time I hold all the cards. This time my victory shall be complete. There he is. Excuse me for transmitting my image to you in this manner, but I too am human and wish to gloat over your hapless plight. Now the game begins in earnest. I will tolerate no interference from you. If you attempt to stop me, I shall release my illusion ray and cause mass hallucinations all over the city of New York. And, of course, don't forget my greatest threat. Alicia is now my prisoner. If you wish to ever see her again, do not oppose me. Thus... I do render the Fantastic Four helpless. Thus does Dr. Doom become the most powerful. Farewell to your foolish four. He's making a way. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, what about Alicia, you crumb? Hey, come back here. It's no use, Ben. He's gone. Does he really think he can threaten us? Does he think anything will stop us from tracking him down? Reading the world of that evil menace that is Dr. Doom? Wait a second, Reed. I ain't letting you go after him while Alicia's his captive. You gotta stay away from him while she's in danger, do you hear me? Don't you see, Ben? This is what he wants, to tie our hands and keep us... Don't try to sweet-talk me, rubber man. I ain't letting you or anyone else cause harm to Alicia, no matter what. You understand? I am victorious beyond my wildest dreams. They are again fighting amongst themselves just as I had planned and vet them for a while longer. They and the entire world will tremble before my next maneuver. It is not money I seek, nor personal gain. No, what I crave is power. And power is what I shall have. Now I shall send this tape-recorded message to Washington, D.C., outlining my demands. They are not outrageous. <laughs> And within hours, an urgent high-level meeting is taking place at the White House. And so you see, Mr. President, Dr. Doom is holding the Fantastic Four at bay with the girl as hostage. And now demands that you appoint him to your cabinet. He says in his taped message to you that if you fail to agree, he'll declare war on the nation. Thank you for your report, Mr. Holliman. But no matter what resources he may have or what means he may use... We will not allow this free nation to be a dictatorship. Certainly not under an evil, sinister devil such as Doom. There's only one thing to do. We shall show this egomaniac that the people of this country were born free and remain free. That'll be all. But, sir, what do you order? Never mind that. What else have you got? The next day, having received no word from the White House on his demands, Dr. Doom begins his one-man war. And as we might suspect, knowing the doctor, the weapon he uses is his unique ability to control electrical energy. What's happening to this computer? It's gone wild. 
And within hours, every man, woman, and child in the country is affected. So many power companies are unable to handle the crisis that much of the nation will be in darkness when night falls. The search is on for the cause of this mayhem, but as yet, no clue. And at the headquarters of the Fantastic Four, a grim, brooding official visitor is speaking. And so the Joint Chiefs of Staff feel that you, having dealt with Dr. Doom in the past, well, the country's on its knees, Dr. Richards, and the Joint Chiefs feel that you and your team... We, are the we understand, General, and we're prepared at this time to discuss... All this talk, and Alicia is still under his thumb. But not for long. Right, Reed? How's that? Well, sir, we, uh have formulated a plan... Well, out with it, man. What'll it take to get you started? Sorry, sir. I think the fewer who know about oh, it... Oh, I understand. We've set up a special communication for just this eventuality. Should you need anything from the military, just call this number. Thank you, sir. We'll be in touch. And after the official visitor has departed... Reed, I'm sorry I blew up at you like that yesterday. Tell me, do you really have a plan to save Alicia and nail that creep? Oh, Reed, if we only could. Well, there is, and it mostly depends on you, Ben. Me? That's right, old friend. A couple of hours ago, with my electro scanner, I located Doom's hideout. This is an ultraviolet photo I took of a strange cloud that's been hanging over the city for the past few days. It looks like a giant blimp inside. That's where he's been monitoring us from. But finding him was only part of the problem. This is an enlargement of that photo. You take nice pictures, but you're wasting my time. Then we can't rush into this. He's got a most elaborate defense system against us. Those disintegrator rays are armed and programmed just for us. What do you mean? Well, those floating things that followed us around the other night didn't just disappear. They returned to Doom's laboratory with specific biological information on each of us. See? You mean he's got the disintegrator rays programmed to our individual body chemistry? That's exactly right. But you say you have a plan. And so I do. There's only one of us with the ability to change his atomic structure. When you revert to being Ben Grimm, the atoms and molecules in your body are completely rearranged. That's something Dr. Doom didn't provide for in his trap. I'm preparing a solution in my lab right now that will change you back to Ben Grimm for a specific period of time. After you've taken the formula, you will again be Ben Grimm for exactly eight minutes. Just long enough to slip past Doom's defense system. And you'll be our bashful blue-eyed thing again. Disarm his disintegrator ray guns. Never mind all that talk, mister. Where's that serum? Well, let's go to the lab and see if it's cured. Right on cue as always, Reese. Well, bottoms up, kiddies. Hey. I feel it's working. It's working. I knew it would, Ben Grimm. But for how long? Minutes later, in a silent, transparent, magnetically powered, one-man plastic bubble, Ben Grimm begins the most perilous journey of his life. Those ribbons of tinfoil trailing this flying fishbowl ought to jam Doom's radar. Reed said they would. And there are the rotating disintegrators. This potion I took has got to last. Oh, no. My hands. The beginning... If I can only get past those detectors, I can't lose my love, Alicia, to that demon. And there, inside that silent, lonely capsule, an exhibition of sheer raw courage and willpower takes place, such as few men have ever experienced. By the strength of his own unconquerable determination, Ben Grimm forces himself to remain in his normal form for the most crucial few seconds, the most important time of his life, until... I made it. I'm past the detectors. Okay, Doom. You've had all the innings till now, but we've reached the turning point now. It's our turn here. And he got the gloom. The thing is coming to get you. First, I'll clobber the main circuit for the disintegrating rays so everyone can join the party. Okay, gang. It's time to play ball. We hear you, man. I hope Alicia's all right. Go easy now. We've only penetrated his outer defenses. Doom is still deadly. Never mind the speeches, pal. It's clobbering time! <clears throat> this time, my victory shall be complete. Disperse. Don't give him a chance to attack us together. Flame on. I'll go off this way. Alicia, where are you, honey? I'm coming to save you. Do you hear me, Alicia? The thing is on the scene. One of us will find a way to trap him. And all of us together can put an end to this. What kind of ship is this? It's got more corridors and chambers than a Coney Island funhouse. And this is the craziest room of all. It's got all these walls. Oh, no, the door.
within seconds, the walls of the chamber begin to revolve around him, slowly at first, then quicker and faster, until it is like being in a tornado gone wild. It's a trap. It's spinning the air around me. There is so much wind that my flame is going out. But in a final mighty surge of energy, the indomitable torch creates an explosion of enough force to shatter the hidden rotator, and the room returns to normal. Now weak and just barely conscious, the human torch lies motionless, waiting for his strength to return. Oh, out of action. And the leader of the colorful combo is in a different chamber. That door. Doom must be watching from somewhere else in the ship. What's this? Oh, no. Cement. Wet cement is pouring out of those holes in the walls. It'll solidify and there'll be no way out. Not for any normal human. A man could stretch his body into any form he chooses always has a chance. I have to move fast. The cement is quick drying. Now, out under the door. <sighs> Made it. And what does Dr. Doom have in store for the thing? Alicia, honey, where are you? Alicia! No, oh, it just opened up. Good thing there's this pole. But Doom must have greased it. It's so slippery. If I hit the ground from this high, they'll pick me up with a sponge. If I can just dig my hands into the metal, Alicia's depending on me. There now. If I can just dig my way back up, just thinking about getting Doom gives me the strength to climb up. Just a chance to lay that crown out. Yeah, I made it. Now to find the others and take care of Dr. Doom. But at that very instant, in Dr. Doom's hidden viewing chamber... Ah, the flamboyant foursome have more life than a pack of cats. But even they will not be able to survive the dreaded fury of my earthly power sphere. Ah, and here they come now together again, I see. Except for the girl. She's not important. Once I have disposed of these, I will deal with her at my leisure. Ah, my greatest weapon is working perfectly. Attracted by their body heat, the spheres are completely encasing the trap trio. And now my power spheres are spiriting them off to another dimension from which they will never return. They are gone. I have won at last. Finally, Dr. Doom is victorious over the Fantastic Four. <laughs> I'll give you three guesses, Iron Face. The thing. No, it's impossible. It can't be. Oh, yes, it can. Uh, he's already turned the force field on. We can't reach him. He can't stay in there forever. And when he comes out, I'm going to be here. But tell me, how did you escape from my power spheres? I saw them take you away. We never went anywhere with your crummy spheres. You wasted them on three flame images of us. Ever see me make a flame image? Here. I can make one of you. See? Pretty good, huh? Never had a lesson. That's enough talking, Matchstick. I want to know where's Alicia, and I want to know now! Never! She's my prisoner until I've disposed of you. I will not be defeated. No, never! But Dr. Doom is unaware that even now, a slender woman's figure is slipping into an unguarded room at the other end of the ship. At last, there she is. I hear footsteps. Who could that be? Alicia, dear, it's me, Sue Storm. Don't say a word. Dr. Doom could return at any moment. And before he does, we've got some things to do. First, you go down here. And so, a hurried exchange takes place, and seconds later... Now to seize my hostage. They will not dare attack me so long as I hold her. What? She vanished. That could only be possible if... That's right, Doom. You cannot defeat the Fantastic Four. One hostage is as good as another. You will serve as my prisoner just as well as the blind girl. You are making one mistake, old man. It is you who are my prisoner. You dare to speak so to Dr. Doom? You shall regret that before you die, woman. We'll see who is to regret what. Oh. Dr. Reed Richards taught me well in the art of Kung Fu. Oh. And I enjoy getting a chance to use it. Oh. Indeed. Well, how did he teach you to handle an opponent who holds this ultra heat ray gun? I shall pull the trigger and sweep this entire chamber. Sorry, Coombs, but your chamber sweeping days are over. Pardon me, 
so soon, but I shall never suffer the humiliation of being captured by the likes of you. Come on, fantastic friend. Come back here. Stand back, Ben. Maybe I can still reach him. Nope. Too late. I'm in love. That rat cheated me out of my revenge. Swiftly, silently, the form of Doctor Doom fades from view as the greatest menace of our age plummets down, 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 until it is lost from sight in the gathering twilight. And in Doom's flying laboratory. Oh, Ben, darling, are you all right? Sure, I'm okay. How about you, honey? As long as you're safe, I'm happy, darling. Johnny, where's Sue? We've got to find her. I'm here, Reed, darling. Sue, you all right? That means our triumph is complete. Darling, if anything ever happened to you... Yeah, what a lot of mush. I don't blame Dr. Doom for jumping out. But the torch hasn't much time to worry about mush. For in the next episode, the Fantastic Four battle a foe who has all the powers they possess and more. Be listening again on Monday when we all shall see the Super Scroll. 